Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Drug Inspector Exam Preparation video series. In this video, I will explain about biochemistry syllabus and important topics. Now, when you see the syllabus in the notification, there is mention about only carbohydrate metabolism. Now, in that, some of the important topics are given. What are they? First one is glycolysis. Now, you need to understand certain root words. Lysis means breakdown, genesis means formation. You understand these two words, most of the times will become very easier. Now, glycolysis. Glyc means glucose, lysis means breakdown. Six carbon containing glucose breaks down into three carbon containing pyruvates, two pyruvates. So, this process is called as glycolysis. So, this is what is given. Now, the next one is glucogenesis, which is also known as gluconeogenesis. Understand this word genesis means formation. What has to be formed? Glucose. Now, glucogenesis is also known as gluconeogenesis. Neo means new. The reason why it is called as gluconeogenesis is formation of glucose from other than carbohydrates like pyruvate and lactate. When glucose is formed from other than carbohydrate, it is called as gluconeogenesis, also glucogenesis. This is the second topic. Now, the next one is glucogenolysis or glycogenolysis. Now, lysis means breakdown. What breaks down? Glycogen. Glycogenolysis means glycogen breaks down. Now, two processes are there glycogen formation or glycogenesis, glycogen breakdown, glycogen, glycogenolysis. Understand this word genesis means formation, lysis means breakdown. If glycogen is formed, it is called as glycogenesis. If glycogen is broken down, it is called as glycogenolysis. Now, roughly each glycogen molecule is formed by 1 lakh glucose molecules. So, when it is forming with all the glucose molecules with branching and all the things, it is called as glycogenesis, glycogen formation. Now, when there is a requirement, when you, during fasting, when people don't take food, the reserved glycogen breaks down and releases glucose. Glycogen breaks down, this is called as glycogenolysis. So, this process is glycogenolysis. Now, next one, there are certain pathways are given, pentose phosphate pathway. See, glucose has got multiple pathways. One glucose breaks down into pyruvate which is called as glycolysis. Glucose also get oxidized to, to form 5 carbon containing rings, pentose phosphates, 5 carbon containing carbohydrate with phosphates that is ribose phosphate. This pathway is called as pentose, pentose phosphate pathway. Now the next one is glucose can also be oxidized in liver as glucuronic acid. So, this is called as uronic acid pathway. Now, this glucuronic acid or uronic acid pathway is an important detoxifying pathway. In the metabolism, there are two phases are there, phase 1, phase 2. Phase 2 has the important component is glucuronic acid pathway. This glucuronic acid combines with the metabolites and they goes out of the body. So, this happens in liver. This comes under glucose oxidation pathway. Now, the last one is abnormal carbohydrate metabolism. Now, a lot of things are there, but the important things are two problems. Galactosemia, lactose intolerance. Emia means blood. Galactose means in the blood, galactose is present in more than required levels. When galactose is not getting metabolized, the levels of galactose increases in the blood and that condition is known as galactosemia. Second one, lactose intolerance. See, certain people cannot tolerate milk. That is called as lactose intolerance. In the milk, the important carbohydrate is lactose. So, people who do not have lactase enzyme cannot digest this lactose. Lactose is digested by an enzyme lactase. They, they have increased levels of lactose in stomach and it passes to large, and large intestine where bacteria breaks down and the breakdown products will cause diarrhea and intestinal cramps. This is called as lactose intolerance. So, these are all the topics which are given in biochemistry. Go through the syllabus and understand these terms. All the best.